I know exactly how Pam is feeling right now. I've dated a lot of women whose children absolutely hated me, but I know that she's throwing up. Is there someone there? Who's there? I hear voices. Is somebody there? Yeah. It's Jim and Pam, Michael. <gasps> it is. Yeah. They're back. Oh, 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 Pam. You know, growing up, we had a Puerto Rican housekeeper, and uh, she wrote this really pretty song about her family. She sang it every day. Los Bernardos, diablo blanco, muerte, muerte, los Bernardos. You don't speak any Spanish, do you? No. I know. Hey, is my old buddy Luis Fortuño still governor down there? I have recently taken a lover. Well, that's great. Congratulations. Who's the lucky lady? Pam's mom. What? Pam's mom, Helene. Remember from your wedding? You're messing with me. About what? You did not have sex with Pam's mom. Oh, big time. What kind of car does she drive? She drives a green camera. And the seats go all the way down. All the way down. Okay, never tell Pam. And then secondly... Okay, good, a pact. A pact. Although I may have to break it tonight when Helene and I tell Pam over dinner. Hey, Jim. Not now, Toby, my oh, God. Jesus. Get the hell out of here, idiot. What did I do? I, I have a good thing with the mom. Don't call her the She's mom. She's right on my way home from work. Then Mark. take a different way home, man. I did. All right. I'll take surface streets. It's... So, we're good. Oh, yeah. Could you at least let me brag about the other night? It was sublime. I have had some incredible... Okay, you know what? That's disrespectful. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is amazing. I feel like a real Puerto Rican. Oh, Michael, you're all set up by the telly, so change the reservation to two people. Here, look. Fun! Yeah. Wow, Botticelli's, that sounds like a special occasion. Yeah, no, it's nobody. I don't know. I think Michael has a date. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think you have a date. I don't. I don't. Come on. Oh, uh, I think we should just drop it. Because obviously he doesn't want to talk about it. <sighs> I don't deserve this, guys. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Just take the parrot. I was probably going to break up with her anyway. Oh, don't. that's too bad. Pam, it is very complicated. There are a lot of moving parts here. It sounds complicated. Yeah, but I mean, if you really like this person, then you should see where it goes. You want me to be happy? Of course. Part of the problem is she is the mother of a close friend of mine. Oh. More than a friend, a co-worker. Oh, gossip. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it, Michael? Who? It's OK. No, 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 no. No. I know that Jim is my boss, but I refuse to be deferential to someone who is practicing subterfuge. What the hell does deferential mean, Dwight? It mean... Forget it. You know what? I'll take care of the subterfuge myself. You seem tense. Hey, you want me to give you the chills? He's running down. Till there's a knife in your back and the blood is gushing down. Sleeping with Pam's mom, sometimes dinner. Blood is gushing down. The blood is gushing down. You know, I really would have appreciated a heads up that you were into dating mothers. I would have introduced you to mine. Come on, look at her hands. <laughs> I'd like to see Pam's mom crush her own applesauce. Of course I'm pissed. Michael, stupid Scott is dating my mother. <sighs> but you know what? This is an office, and because Michael is incapable of it, it looks like I have to be the adult. No more meetings! No more meetings! No more meetings! No more meetings! I have a lot of experience with bullies. Whenever I started a new school, I would know who they all were by the end of the first day. And make no mistake, Pam is a bully. And she is the worst kind of bully. A girl bully. Do you need to talk to your wife? Nope. You need to either make her understand or you need to fire her. I will not work under these conditions. I'm Switzerland. Well, I'm Michaelville. 
I need you to side with me on this. You're the boss. Everybody here considers you to be the boss more than me. Oh, that's crazy. Because you've been the boss way longer, so you've dealt with situations just like this dozens of times. I think that you can solve this because I am not that smart. Toilet guard? Golden ticket? You're a creative mastermind. You have a relationship with Pam. You know her better than I Michael, do. Michael, you know Pam way better than I do. That's only partially true. I am an idiot. You're brilliant, man. You, you know what I you're... wouldn't even know where to start, Michael. You are an excellent moderator, boss, friend. You are the greatest sleight of hand magician I've ever seen. You're the man for the job. That's why you were promoted. I can't lie anymore. You're a genius. Well, okay. All right. Stupid wedding. If I had known the outcome, I would have stopped at third base. Well, all things considered, this is the worst day at work I've ever had. I don't need to be friends with Pam. I have plenty of female friends. My mom, Pam's mom, my aunt, although she just blocked me on IM. Maybe I'm overreacting. Yeah, maybe. But I don't think I am. You're not. Nope. Nope. Uh, well, we could just skip the restaurant. Come right over. I just scored a bottle of rum. Mm-hmm. A little rum for my lady's tummy tum tum. It's got a parrot on it. No, I don't know what that means either.